a simple feeding timer on my Arduino do-it-yourself reef controller. Next on this episode of Aquaporn. How's it going YouTube? What is happening everybody? Well, after some major defeats in my do-it-yourself uh, reef controller project, I shelved it for a while. I was just having no trouble, or I'm sorry, a lot of trouble writing code. And uh, I finally had my first victory. I shelved it for a couple weeks and I uh, got back to it with some fresh eyes and I got myself a simple feeding timer. Now I looked all over the place and uh, I implemented this rather easily after some help from a good friend at the aqcenter.net uh, build thread. His name is Steve, he's from New Zealand. Thanks my New Zealand brother. Because here we go. Uh, I was able to implement the counter real quick but I was having trouble with the cancel button and that's where he helped me out. So cancel pretty much bails out of the timer. So all I have to do is hit cancel. And as you hear, all my pumps go back on. So when you hit the feed button, boom, as easy as that. Now we count down seven minutes. Uh, as soon as we hit zero, the pumps go back on. But I was, wow, what the heck is that? But you hit ca cancel, bails out comes back on everything is hunky-dory another thing I was able to do is I've got this whole caves thing going on on my uh, rockscape I was ab able to add yet another cave on this end see the coral beauty digging it so I was able to put this new piece in uh, and then just to shifted this piece back here right here was the piece that was over here and when I was cleaning the tank, it kind of fell. And I was like, hey, that'll work great there. Let's see if I have an extra piece of rock that I can put there. So now, we got a whole cave system going on down there. Digging it. Really digging it. Uh, the fish are digging it too. Can't wait to start adding some corals as soon as I'm done playing around with this controller. Uh, we'll be able to do that. So that's it for my fishy friends, but if you're here for the Arduino build, I'm going to show you some of the code real quick. So I was searching all over the net to find like a simple countdown timer, and I found several, and uh, they seemed rather involved and too complicated for what I actually need this to do. Uh, I did learn from them, and uh, I came up with this on my own after learning for it. So what I did is I made a, a function called uh, feeding timer, and that's when I push the uh, button to make the feeding pop-up come on and when the feeding pop-up is true it just does the simple for loop uh, for integer time and timer is equal zero timer is less than 420 and that is the uh, condition so it keeps going up until that condition is met uh, so when that goes into the loop it turns my outlets off and then I have a delay for 1,000 milliseconds. So 1,000 milliseconds equals a second. So basically it does this loop every second. So every time it goes through the loop, I have a global variable called uh, timer seconds. So every time it goes through the loop, timer seconds come down by one. So that's, and then I have another function called show countdown, which shows my countdown. Now the problem was, now here we have this is basically when the count timer timer goes down to seconds when timer seconds are equal less than or equal to zero then the outlets come back on and then goes back to the home screen all these screens become false home screen becomes true and then I have to reset the timer seconds uh, to 420 420 um, that's seven minutes now here's where I was having trouble and Steve from New Zealand helped me out uh, I just wanted it to bail out if I wanted to like just stop the timer so we use an else statement uh, but I have to put in another loop so while uh, my touch data available and then that way I when, when I hit the button here 
it'll bail out and it'll make all the screens fall so it'll turn the outlets low which actually turns the pumps on <clears throat> and then it'll go back to the home screen and that'll then you got a break in there to break both loops worked out really well the void sh sh show countdown function uh, relatively easy I picked this up off of uh, some guy on the net who was doing it uh, this is the whole thing right here uh, you just uh, call out a variable called uh, time set and uh, that just counts it down so this is the mathematics behind it so timers uh, this is the uh, minutes or actually this is the hours timer seconds divided by 60 and then we have the or this is actually the minutes timer seconds divided by 60 and then timer seconds minus timer seconds divided by 60 times 60 gets you to two last decimal places so uh, after fiddling around all over the place I finally got it to work my biggest problem when I'm coding is balancing the braces these curly braces I always have trouble balancing them and I had the code written for a while but it just took me a while to get all the braces where I needed to go you know trial and error and I had a couple here and there and finally I came up with it to where this works exactly how I want it to work so a victory in Arduino finally yay on to the next thing comment rate subscribe we'll catch you all next time show the caves again yeah